Hi, this is Ruth, and today I'm going to review a fountain pen、uh, from a Taiwan brand, TWSBI, the Diamond 580 RG, which means rose gold. The second version. Actually, I'm a newbie and a starter、uh, for fountain pen,、um, so I have、um, read some materials and reviews from a few、uh, users, and I think it's quite useful. And I hope this can help you, all of you too,、uh, especially the friend that requests for this review.、Um, I will talk about a few aspects,、um, like the design. The nib and also the assembling and also the usage,、um, how how is、um, the smoothness in writing, because I am actually、uh, specialized in writing copyplay and I'm、uh, adapt to use the pen,、uh, so it's actually quite a new to me, a new way to, for me to figure out how to write with fountain pen. And so I hope this can help you.、Uh, first thing I would like to talk about is the design for this pen. So as you can see, actually this pen is not、um, as thin as、um, a normal pen, like、um, the ball pen. Actually, is quite thick for me because、um, I'm a Asian,、uh, I'm a Hong Konger, and I have a very small, a pretty small hand. And that <laughs>、uh, it's hard to compare, and、um, and this pen for me is a little bit thick for me, but still I think it's quite comfortable for me to write.、Um, so you can see the design of this pen is、um, a smooth surface, yeah, and the cap is a twist cap like this, and I think.、Um, I would not prefer that、uh, to cap on the pen, the fountain pen, because it would be very long for me, and it is very heavy for the cap. And you can see when I write, the heaviness will just fall down like this way, very naturally, and which you, which means it requires more force for you to put it back into a right angle when you trying to write. With this fountain pen, so I will just separate it without capping it together. Yeah, so maybe you can just put it aside for where that you can appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, but、um, the colors of this pen is very attractive. I think it is most of the reasons why we would like to purchase it. Uh, it is rose gold, and I think it is painted on it. So、um, I would not suggest to use some acid pa-、uh, acid ink because it will just fade out the colors. And so let's see the inside. Oh yeah, I forgot to say here is this logo. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the inside of the pen. Um, so you can see, this fountain pen has a quite a huge capacity for filling the ink. It is a piston one, and it is very easy for you to fill the ink because for some newbie like me, I'm so afraid of filling ink, and I'm afraid it's just got very messy at all. But、um, I'm so glad that this pen won't um is not disappoint me, and which is you just twist this cap and then it is easy to fill in the ink very fast and convenient, and just dip into the ink and then you will see the ink just twist the cap and then the ink will fit inside, and、um, and other point that I quite appreciate is um. The grip size, you can see. The thickest part is in here, the body. But the grip size, you can see there is a little band in here, which you can put your index finger in your thumb very naturally. And the heaviest part is here. 
so it will just naturally lay it down between this distance and you can see it's quite comfortable to write with so um, I think um, the design for this pen is quite um, user friendly as a pen to for you to write daily so I think for the design I would give it four to out of five um, because actually I don't understand why um, the cap is so heavy but I know it's beautiful but and when it kept together you just think it's too long for you to write and yeah so I think this is why a four out of five instead of five out of five for me so actually it depends on yours opinion about um, your writing habit for me it is four out of five indeed okay so um for the second i would like to talk about is about the nib um it is my first time to write in such a thick line for me because as a dip pen let me see is there any comparison for you for a dip pen actually it's very thin especially some hairlines and upper stroke okay let's see if i can have some comparison so you can see this one you can see the hairline is so thin but in here um all the strokes are just the same <laughs> so um i think it's because it is not a flexi nib so please don't push pressure on it or it will destroy the nib and i have chosen a m nib because i would like to try some cursive writing and cursive writing required a uh, smoothness and a speed um, in writing so i would not prefer a finer nib for me and I just that's why I chose this M nib for me and I think it is painted with the rose gold color so once again you cannot use some acid ink like the iron gall or other acid ink even the water ink because um, I, I forgot to uh, mention about uh, the boss from Muse Pen, he's a very nice guy and he told me that uh, water ink is a quite acid ink and, and he would not prefer to use it use it um, with any fountain pen but um, actually water ink is very good for practice um, in dip pen and I have chosen an ink from also from Taiwan it is the Lanon Toolbar I love this hill of red not too red not too orange but it just give you a calm a, a sunshine and even sunset mood for you yes okay i have mentioned many about <laughs> sidetrack stuff and but i i have one i have one thing to mention about it you can see if i just put it closer Sometimes if I uh, just uh, put it put down a pen for a little long time, a little longer time, and the ink suddenly flows heavily when you start writing it, and then you can see after I have uh, written for uh, a little bit of time and the flow of ink have become uh, sorry become um, smoother and it is more balanced, so it would not be sometimes heavy and sometimes light yes and I'm wondering if it is because of my writing uh, forces the spring or the knee problem but um, I think I would try some more fountain pen snips and so I can have a conclusion for you and also I would like to talk about um, oh yeah I forgot to give marks I think for the nib it is quite smooth to write you can see if I just keep on writing C D E F G you can see it's quite 
smooth to right no matter upper stroke or down stroke you can see how consistent is it okay so I think I would give it um, also 4 out of 5 um, except because um, when I start writing I found out it is um, somehow it's quite heavy when I start to write okay and then I will talk about um, the assemble and also the usage for this pen um, for a newbie like me actually I don't know how to reassemble the pen and also how to reassemble a nib for me so um, but I am really appreciate the TWSBI has provided a very clear instruction for me not with many words I don't like reading many words but a clear figure and picture for you to teach you to guide you how to reassemble that pen for you especially the ink part because I don't know how to uh, in the ink at first but when I say that oh I know how to do it it's very clear right okay. and so for the assemble and usage um, later on I will try to reassemble the pen and let's see if it happens any accident <laughs> and I think I will tell you then so I will give it also three to four out of five um, because I still uh, trying to understand how to reassemble it and but I the smart is for giving a such a clear instruction for every users and I think it's very user friendly for everyone okay the last part is about um, the writing the smoothness Uh, you can see when I write, let's like, say I would like to write um, welcome in a larger size. Let's see how it's performed. So you can see. Um, separate part is actually I what the, my writing habit at all because I just like to separate the strokes by strokes um, it is from the anchors grip and but still I think this fountain pen is um, quite smoothness and it's very consistent the stroke and you can see the ink flows very balanced it and I think this is quite a nice pen for every starter or a newbie to write at all and I do really appreciate the design of this pen the colors and also the especially the grip size with for every writer I think it will be a little bit tired after you write a long time because um, the heavy the heavy part in here but I, I know that it's um, a must for every fountain pen because you need to fill in the pen if it is a piston filling fountain pen so I hope this helps you to have a general um, understanding for this pen and actually this is just my personal opinion but um, I, I do I recommend this pen to everyone, especially a starter like me in this area, in this fountain pen area, x back. <laughs> yeah, so I hope this helps. And so see you next time. If you have any problems, just feel free to find me. Bye. Thank you.